What's up guys, it's Brian here bringing you a very quick little haul video. This is one little set I got over here that I wanted to show you. It's not actually the Flintstone set, even though the box from Bricklink looks like the Flintstone set. But I kind of really overpaid for this set. It's not a Star Wars set, I just wanted to make this video kind of for a tax write-off, but don't tell the government that. Anyway, let's get right into this video and I'll show you guys exactly what I got. And I'll tell you how much I paid for this uh, seasonal uh, Lego set. Alright guys, so getting into the package from Bricklink, it is not the Flintstones box, the, the Flintstones set. However, the um, Bricklink seller package, the, uh, the, the, the set I got, in the Flintstones box, which I find kind of funny. So we're going to do a live opening of this. You're seeing this in real time. And again, I did pay um, a pretty penny for this set, but I kind of really wanted to have it. And uh, maybe I shouldn't have paid as much as I did. But you know what? It's fine. Now that I can make a video about it, I can write it off of my Watermelon Studios taxes. <laughs> because that's how the government works, kids. So, I'm really cool. It's, re it's really cool they got it in the Flintstones box. This is a very pleasant unboxing experience. I love these LEGO Ideas boxes. And here we go. We've got a little bit of bubble mailing. Small bubble packaging. Never seen them that small before. But we've got, in very good condition, the little Charles Dickens... Um, a Christmas Carol set, set number 40410. This is a promotional set that's going on, it might have ended by the time I post this video, but it was like if you spent $150 or more Black Friday weekend, you get this little promotional set. But I just really, really wanted the set, and I didn't feel like spending um, $150 bucks to, uh, to get it. So I ended up finding this on Bricklink for $40, which isn't bad if you count the price per piece. 330 pieces, it's got a couple new figures. And some cool stickers, some exclusive stuff. It's a decent sized promotional set. It's a pretty hefty box, too. But with the shipping and tax and everything, I ended up paying $55 for this. So, a bit much, I know. However, I'm an English teacher. I studied English in college. I needed to have a J. Christmas Carol uh, Charles Dickens Lego set. I absolutely could not resist. And it's really cute, too. I love seasonal Lego sets. I usually don't get the Winter Village sets because they're just so darn expensive for a one month of out of the year display piece but yeah I like this guy a lot and uh, I'm excited to build him and put him on my little Christmas display so that's gonna just about do it for this little video guys thanks for tuning in give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed leave me a comment down below and be sure to go ahead and subscribe if you haven't thanks again for watching this has been Brian from Watermel Studios peace out guys